Because I run a gallery and because of the Lord Mayor's involvement, I thought my contribution could be to put on an exhibition of paintings of animals. So we have dogs, cats, horses, sheep, birds, and a few fish. A whole variety of, of every kind of animal and bird. We know, we know even more now that there is a great need, particularly elderly people, when they go into hospital or they break their leg or whatever, to have someone to look after the animal. Um, what we probably didn't think of, but we've discovered, is from the hospital, they tell us that it's quite common to ring someone to book them in for an operation that they really need, and they'll say, no, I can't come because there's no one to look after the dog. So in fact, the need is, is even greater than we'd appreciated. By the nature of it, it tends to be emergencies. Sometimes it's, a, a, say, a planned operation, and we do encourage owners to register their pets with us in advance so that if they're going in for an operation, we can be prepared. But it does tend to be our office manager getting a phone call. Somebody's gone into hospital as an emergency, and she has to rush around finding a volunteer who can foster the dog, the cat, whatever. Apparently we once had a cockatoo. Um, it tends to be mostly dogs, cats less so. Um, cats are difficult to foster because you've got to keep them in. So with a cat we will usually try and keep it in its own home and someone will go in and feed. But it's mostly dog walking and fostering.